San Juan Island in the Pacific Northwest is home to a unique group of red foxes. And this spring, the island's newest residents have emerged. These are their training grounds. But these foxes were never supposed to be here. They were brought here to take care of a very specific problem. Life is good as a fox on San Juan Island. Not a care in the world. Here, foxes are at the top of the food chain. And there's lots of food here for a hungry fox. Lots of food. But this cushy existence for these pups, this life of plenty, almost never happened. And these pups have one guy to thank for that. This guy. Well, not this guy specifically, but a guy who probably looked a lot like him. Legend has it that a lighthouse keeper brought rabbits to the San Juan Islands in the late 1800s to start a rabbit farm. Through the first few decades of the 20th century, there were multiple attempts to establish rabbit farms on the island. All of these attempts failed, and by 1934, the farms were abandoned, leaving thousands of rabbits to fend for themselves in the wild. And well, rabbits did what they do best, and by the 1970s, the island was overrun with up to one million rabbits, seriously damaging the island's ecology. The island's rabbit population was so out of control that the state government had to step in. There were many attempts to control the population with hunting parties and poison. But in the end, the solution was to introduce a fierce and deadly predator. A predator that seemed born to kill. Well, they get to the killing part eventually. Fast forward to today, there's now a balance between predator and prey. Today, all foxes living on San Juan Island share a genetic connection to the foxes released a century ago, including these guys. And now, on this playful summer's day, these pups are blissfully unaware of their lineage. They're focused on more important things. Mm -hmm.